Welcome everyone, this is a video guide on how to get the Cricket Bat for Battlefield 5 multiplayer. Now this video includes all of the letter locations, it also includes all of the challenges that you need to do and I've incorporated these in between collecting letters to make it as convenient as possible and to minimize backtracking but sadly you do need to do a bit of backtracking at points, you have to replay some missions sometimes and do them certain ways but I tested it out and I found some of the shortest ways to do these missions so let's get on with it. Now upon starting the mission, the first letter is very close, it's on the right where Mason's running past here. So you're going to want to go in this room and it's going to be on the desk in front of you. I already picked this one up so I couldn't actually show you it but it is located right there. After spotting some targets with Mason, you'll slide down the hill and there will be a silenced rifle located in front of you. Take out all the enemies in the area and then proceed towards this campfire that has explosive barrels placed next to it for some unsafe reason. It won't trigger any alarms because all the guards are dead. And now we're going to go and find the next letter. Now from where this signpost is located, you want to go slightly to the right of it and follow this stream upwards. You'll keep going until you can see some big spotlights up ahead. And there they are. And once we get to here, we're going to want to turn right again where we can follow this other stream. And then take a second right, go through the puddle. And what you'll see here on the top left is a stack of stones. Now this is a common indicator that there is a letter nearby. Climb up this hill and it will trigger a little notification telling you that there's a letter nearby. You didn't see that in the first clip because I already found it. So here it is. This is actually what the letters look like. And that's our second letter. Now from this location, we're going to want to turn south, southwest and head in a straight line. And you should see a half track park. There should be two guards there. I've already killed these, so you're going to want to do the same. Now go past the half track. You want to go through this passageway and it will give you another notification saying that there's a letter nearby. From here, just follow the riverbank to the left into some bushes. Now this is the final letter of Act 1. We'll be done with them and we can get on to doing the rest of the challenges. Now go back the way we came and take a right at the half track. Continue up the road until you can see some ruins. We're going to want to go slightly left here to a machine gun nest that overlooks the entire airfield. From this spot, we can shoot all the explosive barrels and complete the challenge. Now start shooting the barrels. You are probably going to fail the challenge of enter the hangar undetected, but what do you expect? You're shooting loads of explosive barrels where there are troops located. Now I'm not sure whether you can just do this challenge and then restart from checkpoint and then sneak into the hangar. It might be worth a try but it's not really that difficult to sneak into the hangar undetected. If you do try that method though and it does work please let me know in the comments and I'll pin it so everyone can know. So just carry on with the rest of the barrels. You can see there's one here and they're all going a bit crazy. The last one's located behind this tall light here. It's a bit tricky if you don't have a sniper rifle, so you can go up close and shoot it. So obviously at this point you would have been detected by the enemies unless you killed every single one in the area, which is probably more time consuming than actually replaying the mission. Once you've gone into the hangar and planted the bomb, it would have triggered a cinematic event. Now this is probably one of the most annoying ones of the act. Now I did all of these challenges on easy because I wasn't really that interested in doing the war stories. I just wanted the cricket bat for online, but I was finding I was getting hit by the enemy if I went too close to them. So I was taking a wide path around and you have to time it as well so that the stuckers don't come down and hit you. The easiest way I found to do this was just to run straight across the airfield without stopping and then I did hide in the barracks momentarily to let the planes do a flyby and then I ran straight to the nearest AA and took them down and it was pretty easy but I did get hit a few times on the first few attempts but then after a while it's pretty easy and there we go that's all of the challenges and all of the letters of Act 1. And now we'll move on to Act 2. Now if we take a quick look at what we have to do for this act, you have to find all the letters obviously and you have to destroy the objectives using bombs and a plane. So we have to replay it and we have to disable the alarms. Now once we start you'll see you'll be given three objective markers here. Now all three of these places have alarms that need to be disabled. The village and the airfield are the only two with objectives that you have to destroy. So proceed down the hill to find the first letter. There are six in this act, but this is the last act that has letters in. You can get rid of these guards. You don't have to worry about triggering any alarms unless you want to have loads of enemies coming after you. It is easier just to be a bit more cautious because they do have stuckers and planes that will attack you. 
The letter is on the floor here, but I picked this one up, so obviously you can't see it. Once you get this, we're going to go and do the airfield letter. Now head back outside and you'll find a vehicle. You can get in this, or you can walk if you're dense, but, you know, it's obviously much easier to drive. Now en route to get this letter, we're going to do two of the challenges partially. One is to destroy the supplies using bombs, and the other one is to disable an alarm system. We're obviously not going to do this in a plane because it's a bit silly because we have to stay on the ground to get the rest of the letters. Now I'm not going to include a step-by-step -step guide on how to destroy the alarm or the objectives. It's really not that difficult. If you have trouble finding the alarm system, which I don't think you will, just get on the hill and get your binoculars out and it should appear in front of you. But we're going to focus on the letters here. You can see this one's located at the back here. Again, it will give you a notification that you're near. It's not that difficult to find. It's pretty much on the floor here. You can see that I'll pan around to give you a bit of an idea of where it is, but you know, it's not that hard. So this is the second letter and we're going to now move on to the third one. Now I'm assuming that you've done the objectives at the airfield and you've disabled the alarm either by disabling it or shooting it. So now we're going to go and find the third letter. It's going to be by one of those stone stacks again, which are an indicator that there's a letter nearby. From here, we want to head south towards a cluster of trees. There'll be another rock pile there, and there'll also be a car there. You can't miss this one either. Just keep heading south, and you'll come across it in a minute. Just cut through the rivers, and you can see it's that cluster of trees there. There's the car. Once I get close enough, it will give me the notification. And there it is on my right. You can see the stone stack there. And there it is, that's the third letter. And now we're gonna go on to the fourth. From here, head southwest, just going a straight line from where we originally were. And this will be located again in some trees. There'll be another rock pile and the car next to it to indicate that we're close. Once you collect this letter, it's advisable to do the objective as well and disable the alarm that's in the area to do the challenge. There's the marker you can see, and the letter is just behind a palm tree. If you go left here, there are a lot of guards up ahead as well, so you're probably going to have to take them out to do the objective and to disable the alarm. Once you've got that letter, just head up the hill where you saw me shoot that guard. And this is where the comm bunker is and the alarm is. So disable that. You can shoot it or you can press E on it. There are a few guards nearby, so do take care of them because they can be a bit of a nuisance. There isn't nothing to destroy here. You just have to go through a door to trigger a cinematic cutscene. But this is required to complete the mission in total. Once you've done that, head back to your car where you found the previous letter and continue along this road. Now this next letter is actually quite far away. You'll find a few guards, but just either ignore them or kill them. You want to turn right here and follow the road and go through this checkpoint. I'll just speed this up now. Just follow the road in a straight line until you come across a bridge and you'll see a truck park there and a big boulder on your left. We're going to want to go left here anyway. And you'll see the stone stack there and it's just located in front of that. Basin edge, pick that up. And avoid the grenade. I, I forgot that happened, actually. <laughs> right, we're now on the last letter, the last objective, and the last alarm we need to disable. So go across the bridge here. Take a right when you get to this car. And then there'll be a sharp left going up the hill, if you don't crash like me, towards the enemy radar facility. Now, these radio stations are actually quite far apart from each other, but there is an alarm system in between them that you'll need to disable. But let's just focus on this for now. Uh, get rid of the enemies if you want. I just couldn't be bothered. And it's located on your right here, the final letter, Village Overlook. There it is. You can see there's the stack. There's the angry guards. And if I pick this up, any old sheets and all letters are found now you can see that's where i've just came from i've come down the road there's the second radar station and it's located in between them now i've already done this challenge so it won't trigger anything saying it's completed you can either shoot it or you can disable it by pressing e now finish up the mission by arming the explosives and blowing up the radio towers you can actually restart the mission once you've done both of these and go to the airfield and get the plane. You don't have to rendezvous with Mason straight away. So you'll basically have all the objectives done, all the challenges done, and all the letters done in one go. Once you've done these two objectives, go to the comm bunker again, rendezvous with Mason, and then we'll move on to Act 3.
Now Act 3 is by far the easiest, there are no letters to collect and you have to destroy a plane and a ground vehicle using a hand weapon or a gadget. A gadget is referring to a launcher or a rifle grenade or dynamite and a hand weapon is obviously a hand weapon. This is a pretty easy challenge, I can't see there being any difficulty with this. And then the final challenge is for getting Billy to kill 5 enemies while he's singing. Now I found the best method for this was to destroy the planes first using the anti-air to let the infantry group up and you have to wait until he starts singing not when the music cues in pretty easy to kill five enemies in that time once you've done that you'll see a notification popping up that you've completed it and there we go just remember that you need to go into the armory to claim it otherwise it will stay locked it's not a bug i did think it was at first but now i've got mine i hope you enjoy yours and i hope you've enjoyed the video make sure to drop a like and a comment if this helped you i'd be very grateful for that and i hope to see you soon in the next one